Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It's Wednesday, the 27th day of February. Can you believe tomorrow's the last day of the month already? I cannot. This is a short month and it goes by quick. Well, today is National Kahlua Day. It's National Strawberry Day, National Polar Bear Day, and National Retro Day. So, thinking of something retro uh, that you could do with strawberries and Kahlua. I bet there's a drink out there. Maybe you could call it a polar bear. Then you celebrate everything. See? See? Uh, by the way, if you do see a polar bear in the wild, I know they look cute and cuddly, but if you go over and give one a hug, you probably won't live they to tell about it. They don't look cute and cuddly at all. I think they do. You think so? No, uh, in I the Coca-Cola commercial. vicious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, it's a cartoon. Uh, yeah. Hey, coming up later in the program, we're going to visit with Riley Smith from the hit TV show Nashville and Life Sentence. We're going to talk about his new series called Proven Innocent. It's him and Kelsey Grammer and a bunch of other great I folks. I love Kelsey I do Grammer. Too. It's on Fox TV. I've got a link to that show and all of his info. He also has a couple of songs. He's doing like one song per month. And I've got a link to his latest song called Radio in our show notes as well. All of that in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you have a pretty good sense of humor? You might like this. Early in the morning each day and every day, we share something weird to make people laugh at weirdgiftoftheday.com. You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't even need to spend a penny. Just follow the page on Facebook and get a smile to start each day when we share the weird gift of the day. Not on Facebook? That's okay. You can see the weird gifts on our website too. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now, surveys and studies and such. A new survey found that cassette tapes are making a comeback. Over 50,000 albums sold on cassette tapes in the last year. Now, Why for, on earth would for those of you, anybody want to go back to that? I think they're kind of cool. Albums I get. Yeah. Cassettes are a pain in the butt. No, cassettes are cool. Uh, for those of you who are you know young and you don't know what a cassette tape is, it, it's a device about the size of your phone, maybe a little smaller, that you put into a cassette player and then you play music. And, and you have you, to rewind it. Or you just let it play and then it flips over and plays the other side and it plays. <laughs> it can just keep going forever and ever and ever. So that's the thing I liked about it is, uh -huh. you know, it would just keep playing. But uh, there you go. Surveys and studies and such. A lot of cassettes coming out. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Credit cards. For years, I didn't use credit cards. We paid off all of our debt and we quit using credit altogether. But then our credit score went down. It was affecting our insurance rates. Not sure why, but that's tied to your credit score. I'm not suggesting you rack up credit card debt just to rack up credit card debt. But my wife and I now each use a credit card and then we pay them off every month. It's helped our credit score. But not all cards are the same. Some cards are better than others. If you'd like to find one that's the best fit for you, check out bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. And this is your brain on drugs. A veteran firefighter from Cleveland was arrested not once, not twice, but three times in a 24-hour period, all at the hospital, or I'm sorry, at the Hoskins International Airport in Cleveland. And uh, it was misdemeanor charges, what he got. 55-year-old Battalion Chief William Graham entered plea of two counts of intoxicated disorderly conduct, both for misdemeanors, stemming from his first two arrests. Formal charges have not been filed in connection with the third arrest. They might have been now. I've, this story is actually maybe a week old, two weeks old. Some of these, I've got some of these stacked up now. Uh, I've got a bunch of brain on drug stories, and some of these have been stacked up a while. I'm trying to get through them. But I uh, got to get himself in a little bit of trouble. I'm really sad to hear that. He went to the airport. It says he was drunk and hostile towards passengers and employees at the airline, and he was not allowed to fly on his scheduled JetBlue flight to Boston because he was drunk. And then they, he got... You know, taken away, and then he came back because he didn't want to miss his flight. Taken away, and then he came back a third time. So persistent. He absolutely is persistent. But a bizarre story right there. I've got a link to that in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show dot com. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. For those of you who were tuned in on Sunday night, the Oscars went off without a hitch and without a host. The TV ratings now came out, and they were at an all-time low, I'm according sure to the story. I'm sure they were. Uh, Green Nobody Book wants to hear that negativity. Well. Jay-Z and Beyonce had their big star-studded party afterwards for the second year in a row. And once again, our invite was lost in the mail. It, it happens every year. I don't know why that is. It just keeps snubbing us. But Thanks, guys. Lady Gaga was also at the Oscars. And there's a story from last week. It says Lady Gaga was seen vacationing in Mexico after her, her recent split from fiancé Christian Carino. So 
just she went on vacation to Mexico, and that's news. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that it's we're... always news when we go on vacation, oh, yeah. John. All of the outlets report on yeah. it. John and Heidi were recently seen in Las <laughs> they Vegas. They were spotted. Yeah, they were spotted in Vegas. <laughs> Heidi had a margarita the size of her head. <laughs> <laughs> Film at 11. All right. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. Join us in Las Vegas for 80s in the desert. Hear awesome 80s music from Scandal featuring Patti Smythe, A Flock of Seagulls, Richard Page of Mr. Mister, Tony Lewis from the Outfield, Pretty Poison, Thomas Dolby, and more. Also, meet people from your favorite 80s movies like Robert Hayes from Airplay, E.G. Daly from Valley Girl, and more. May 3rd and May 4th. Get more info now at 80sinthedesert.rocks. Use promo code RADIO to save $25 per ticket. Now the scoop of the day brought to you by BetterCreditCards.net. Police are looking for a group of thieves who broke into the car of Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back Peyton Barber. Guess what they stole from the car, Heidi? What did they steal, John? They stole the team's playbook. Oh. So, yeah. Uh-oh. I, I think that that sounds like a, an inside job from some other team, if you ask me. <laughs> or maybe somebody who found it and thought, hey, this would be a cool collectible. Or somebody who found it and thought, maybe I can sell this to another team. <laughs> so, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, we are not sports people, so I don't know much more than that. So, anybody sees me later today. I really today have no interest in And ask me about my, uh, my perspective on this story. I'm going to say, what did I talk about again? <laughs> I don't remember. I already forgot the name of the team. <laughs> Tinder has banned a San Francisco woman. This has actually turned into quite the brouhaha, Heidi. Okay, a Tinder, brouhaha. Yes, Tinder banned a San Francisco woman from their dating app because her profile photo showed her posing with a deer that she had hunted and killed. So they're like, yeah, swiping left for you. Oh, wow, really? So they won't, yeah, now they don't want her on there because of that. Um, here's the thing I don't understand. There's a lot of places in the country where they do that all the time. They go hunting. I understand for San Francisco, that's probably not normal. But there are a lot of places in the country where that's very, very normal. So oh, I don't yeah. understand we had the pleasure of living in South Dakota for many years, yeah. and that's very, very common. I don't, yeah, I don't understand And I grew why. up in Iowa, so I mean, as, to me, that Where seems we're from, silly. Yeah, that just seems bizarre that that would be a big deal. And that's what's happening all over the country. People are getting fired up about it. They're going, really? Because she's a, she went hunting? Right. And there's a lot of guys going, hey, I, I'd like to date somebody who's interested right. in hunting. So, right. And I wonder if she only listed it in her interests as she's a hunter. If it would have been the same result, or maybe it was only because it was a photo and maybe they thought it was graphic or something. Yeah, probably. I have no idea. I don't know. And we don't know what kind of shape that deer was in. <laughs> I mean, if it's in trails, we're all hanging out. It might be a little Holding different. a little scrap of a deer. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to move on, though, because, uh, yeah, it's just bizarre. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth is reportedly planning to hold a, quote, secret dinner. Well, so far, you're not off to a good start. <laughs> It's not a secret, secret if you tell everybody with, about uh, it. With U.S. Ambassador Woody Johnson, who is also the owner of the New York Jets football team. So, second sports story today. Why, I mean, and I why would she want to? I don't know. I'm very... Is I she don't a get it. sports fan? Uh, maybe. Or maybe uh, maybe this person is a big fan of her. I don't really know. I have no answers. So, once again, um, I have more information... In the show notes, if you click the link, but I, I don't care about sports, so I'm not going to click that. We're <laughs> not going to click on so, it. But you and sure I'm not can. a big fan of the queen. Not that I dislike her, but I'm not like a, I'm not following her on <laughs> not a groupie. Tinder you don't Twitter, have her Twitter. photo <laughs> hanging up on your I'm wall. I'm not on Tinder. I'm not following her on any of the, I can't even think Kiss of Kiss the name. queen goodnight every night. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of that. And uh, I was telling Heidi ahead of time, it was really hard to find enough stories today for, that's how I got two sports stories in here. Um, almost every story has to do with politics. Now, this is the closest we're going to get to politics today, and it really doesn't have to do with politics. But it says, a White House panel will study whether or not climate change is a national security threat. So that's the closest <laughs> to politics, and we're going to steer clear. Now, Can let's we get... just quit wasting money, I'm just Okay, moving on to the next thing here. In Indiana, no, I'm sorry, let's try that again. An India professor, a professor from India. Okay. It says an Indian professor, but I want to make sure you understand. He's from India. Okay. He compared their prime minister, Modi, to Hitler, and now he's being thrown in jail for that. Mm. So think about how fortunate it is in the country that we live in where you can say things like that and you don't get thrown in jail. Um, if that were the case, if everybody who compared uh, a leader to Hitler uh, over the last eight or nine exactly years, almost the everybody would be, be full. in jail. But That was overused. That yeah. is so overused. Think, and, the man was evil, and, and people yeah. use that as if it's nothing. Yeah. 
last story. Strong earthquake has hit Japan's no- northernmost main island, and it says uh, there were you know a lot of a lot of uh, little damages, but it doesn't sound like there were a lot of people oh, hurt well, or killed. Good. So it wasn't a major, a strong earthquake, but it didn't do a ton of damage. So there you go. That's going to do it for our scoop of the day. Didn't have a whole lot today. <laughs> Found a way to stretch that out to the whole four minutes. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you have IRS tax problems? Are they keeping you up at night? Afraid to open your own mail or even answer your telephone? If your tax problems are affecting your family life, you need to know you have options. You have rights. And we'll make sure you get them. Call and speak with Mike Habib, the tax expert who will handle your case at 877-78-TAXES or online at myirstaxrelief.com. That's 877-78-TAXES or myirstaxrelief.com. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show. We have, joining us right now, not only an actor, but a singer as well. We have Riley Smith. How you doing, sir? Good. How you doing? Good. You know, we get to talk to actors a lot, and we get to talk to singers a lot, but it's it's kind of fun to talk to an actor and a singer all in one. Uh, now, do you kind of have to choose which is your first love, acting or singing? No, everybody asks me that, but uh, I can never, it's like, it's like picking your favorite child. I could never do that. <laughs> I, I, need, I need both of them in my life, and uh, a lot of times I've, I've been lucky enough to be able to to do both on uh, a TV show where you play a singer or get to sing, and so it's, it's worked out nicely. Well, very cool. We're going to come back to the singing, but let's first start talking about Proven Innocent. Let's talk a little bit about that project. Yes, I'm uh, very excited for the world to see Proven Innocent. It'll be on Fox uh, starting this Friday, 9, 8 Central, and uh, it's it's got a real strong message. It's a great show about a group of uh Lawyers who uh, work on Innocence Project and defend wrongfully convicted uh, people, try to, to get them out of prison. And uh, uh, Kelsey Grammer is amazing in it. He plays our uh, kind of our corrupt uh, district attorney. Uh, and uh, the rest of the cast is phenomenal. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it, you know, when I got the script exactly a year ago today, um, I said this is the only the only TV pilot I want to do this year. If I don't do this, I'm not doing one. But because it was literally my biggest fear in life come true, um, someone knocks on my door and says, uh, "Riley Smith, put your hands behind your back. You're um, you know you're arrested for a crime you didn't commit." And uh, in the show, my character Levi Scott spends ten years in prison for uh, uh, a murder that he didn't commit. And when he gets out, you know he's just never hasn't been right since. And there's a, a cloud that kind of follows him around and his sister also went to prison with him for that murder and when she gets out she becomes a lawyer to people like ourselves and so the show's cool because uh, each week we have a procedural crime of the week that uh, you know uh, that we're trying somebody that the lawyers are trying to get out of prison but then we have an overall arc of the show which is if we didn't kill rosemary lynch uh who we were in prison for, for murdering then who did and, and my character kind of finds a mission in life to, uh, and one way he's going to clear his name is by finding the real murderer. So, so that's what, uh, that's what drives him. But, uh, it's a, it's a cool show and it's a hot topic right now, you know, with the, with all the podcasts about this and, uh, the documentaries who made, you know, making a murder and the staircase and, um, and all the date lines and it's, it, yeah, the well, serial podcast. It's, and that's what I was going to say. The thing that's interesting, that's different between this and that. With that, it was you know based on a true story, and it was more of a documentary. This is not really documentary as much as it is. It's a it's a program where you can kind of fall in love with these characters, and you can kind of get pulled into it, can't you? Yeah, of course. And you know, we do take it. It's not based on a true story, but we take every week. We've kind of pulled from real life cases that uh, that people might have heard of. You know, there'll be a lot of uh, similarities in some of the cases and. Uh, to, to just dive into them, and and yeah, you'll be able to fall in love with the characters, and and then then tweet just uh, if you want to turn on the tube and get lost in a case of the week, we got that too. Now let's talk a little bit about your music career as well. Uh, the the album you've got an album that came out, and you have kind of a new song out right now as well, don't you? That's right. I've got a new song called Radio. Hey, I like radio. <laughs> Thank you. We used to put out whole albums, um, but now everyone's attention span is so short, and a lot of times eight, nine songs out, and only a couple stick, and then the rest uh, get lost in the shuffle. So I decided in 2019, I would just put out a song a month, and I'm trying to do a video along with every song, and it's been a blast. It's been a lot of work, um, 
but uh, but I'm, I'm loving it. So you got this new show on Fox, which is amazing and is doing well, Proven Innocent. Uh, you've also got uh, this ambition to put out a song every single month. How in the world are you going to find time to do all of this stuff, Riley? <laughs> it's pretty much my life. Uh, I, I did all the writing of the, the, the music while I was shooting the show. So, you know, when you're filming, you get a lot of downtime in your trailer or the days you're not particularly working. So uh, throughout the course of the last seven months, I've been writing the material that I fly out in Nashville on weekends and record, and uh, and then um, we all kind of. I still don't have the the songs for the back half of the year done yet, so I'm only oh. halfway halfway done. But it takes up a lot of time. That is awesome. Again, uh, he's got a new song out called Radio. I'm going to throw a link to that in our show notes. And I know how you can get all this done because you're a good, hardworking Midwestern guy. I see that you're from Iowa. My wife is also from Iowa. I'm from Cedar Rapids. Northeast uh, corner of Iowa. Uh, she's from the other side. She's from Storm Lake over on the on the western side. So Iowans stick together no matter what. I'm Absolutely. a Midwest uh, <laughs> lover. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us. Again, a uh, new song called Radio. We've got a link to that in our show notes. Also, he's got a new program, Proven Innocent, on Fox, and he'll be alongside Kelsey Grammer and a, another amazing cast that's going to be with him. Uh, again, Riley, thank you for taking the time to chat, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Riley Smith, Proven Innocent, on Fox Fridays. I got a link to all of the details in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. Credit cards. For years, I didn't use credit cards. We paid off all of our debt and we quit using credit altogether. But then our credit score went down. It was affecting our insurance rates. Not sure why, but that's tied to your credit score. I'm not suggesting you rack up credit card debt just to rack up credit card debt. But my wife and I now each use a credit card and then we pay them off every month. It's helped our credit score. But not all cards are the same. Some cards are better than others. If you'd like to find one that's the best fit for you, check out bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? You cannot breathe and swallow at the same time. You should try that, though. Oh, really? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, apparently can. It's because they both go through the Tharnix, P-H-A-R-N-Y-X. Huh. I thought that was called the Larnix. Pharnix? I think there's two different P-H-A-R-N-Y-X. Things. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, you can't breathe and swallow at the same time because of this little thing right down here. It's all going through the same spot. <laughs> kind of hurt why did i do that <laughs> thanks for listening to that was the, interesting yeah sorry thanks for listening to the john and heidi show on a wednesday join us in las vegas for 80s in the desert hear awesome 80s music from scandal featuring patty smythe a flock of seagulls richard page of mr mr tony lewis from the outfield pretty poison thomas dolby and more also meet people from your favorite 80s movies like robert hayes from airplay eg daily from valley girl and more may 3rd and may 4th get more info now at 80s in the desert dot rocks use promo code radio to save 25 dollars per ticket now, fear this. It's time for fun with phobias. Misophobia. M-I-S-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. Misophobia. What do you think miso or misophobia is? I think... Did we already talk about Isn't this? it a disease? No, no. It is uh, the fear of being contaminated with dirt or germs. Oh. So, yeah. If you get... Is that like misothelioma? No, that's mesothelioma. Oh. <laughs> Close, though. I don't know what... They are. I know no. that we used to sing about it at church. No, that was not. It's something completely different. You just said that at church one time. We left there. She's like, why are they singing about that? I'm like, it no, it's not what like they're what saying. They saying. No, it's not what they're saying. This is your fun with phobias. Do you have a pretty good sense of humor? You might like this. Early in the morning each day and every day, we share something weird to make people laugh at weirdgiftofthedaycom You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't even need to spend a penny. Just follow the page on Facebook and get a smile to start each day when we share the weird gift of the day. Not on Facebook? That's okay. You can see the weird gifts on our website too. Weirdgiftoftheday.com That's weirdgiftofthedaycom now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Bizarre story here. A man is facing property damages after police say he threw a, a toilet through the glass of the front of a store in East St. Louis. Oh, okay. The education building. They were called to the building at 10th and State Street where they got there. People were in the building saying, hey, this guy, Dave Tolliver, 36-year-old Florida man, carried a toilet up to the building and threw it through the glass. They found him a short time later, get this, at the intersection of 11th and Cleveland, they found him sitting on another toilet. Oh, my god! Just on the corner of the street. <laughs> okay. He was charged with one count of criminal property damage, a Class 3 felony. His bond is set at $10,000. 
So luckily he still had that's a that bad toilet. day right there. Yeah, luckily he had that other toilet. Otherwise they might have nothing to go on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> Why, Why would you do that? Why would you throw <laughs> toilets through a... doesn't make any... And where was he going with the other one? And where did he get the toilets? Can you so imagine trying to haul two toilets no, down the street? Uh, Were they in a cart or uh, something? Because uh, that would be awfully difficult say. to do. I got no idea. I got a link to the story if you want to read all about it. It's in the weird news section of today's show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Authorities say a suburban Houston man was injured after he accidentally shot himself in the stomach at his daughter's birthday party. Oh, jeepers. Such a just terrible idea here. Harris, uh, Harris County Sheriff say this man was spinning a gun on his hand oh my gosh. on Saturday when the weapon accidentally discharged and shot him in the stomach. And this happened at his daughter's birthday party. His daughter is 16. He is so fortunate nobody was killed. His condition was not immediately known, but he was taken to a hospital for treatment. If you're you going to be a that. gun owner, be a responsible yeah, gun owner. Don't be an don't idiot. You that. give the rest of us a bad name. Yeah, you don't. And, and if you have a loaded gun, you don't twirl it around on you your finger. You don't twirl even an unloaded, yeah, even something you, just, you think is not loaded because it could idea. have something in the chamber. Yeah. That you, I mean, it's just, just don't be an idiot. Well, this guy's got it's himself the only in gun trouble we need. That. Don't be an idiot. Yeah, pretty much. That's going to do it for our moment of duh. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Credit cards. For years, I didn't use credit cards. We paid off all of our debt, and we quit using credit altogether. But then our credit score went down. It was affecting our insurance rates. Not sure why, but that's tied to your credit score. I'm not suggesting you rack up credit card debt just to rack up credit card debt. But my wife and I now each use a credit card, and then we pay them off every month. It's helped our credit score. But not all cards are the same. Some cards are better than others. If you'd like to find one that's the best fit for you, check out BetterCreditCards.net. That's BetterCreditCards.net. Now, these three things. Heidi, what do these three things happen to have yeah, in common? Here we go. Do you have to add a word to this one to make them all make sense? Or is um, this the one that actually I has something in common? I don't know, actually. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, you don't have to add a word. But I, okay. there's one that I'm not even familiar with. Pepper. By okay. the way, that's the one I'm not familiar with. Pepper. Squash and chess. Pepper. Squash and chess. If you know what these three things are, shout it out so your friends know how smart you are. What do you think pepper, squash, and chess happen to have in common? You know what chess is, right? What is yeah, chess? It's a, it's a game. Okay. And with what chess is, pieces. And what is uh, squash? Do you know what that is? It's a gourd. No, no. This is a different kind of squash. It's also a game. Oh, it's a game and with a... Pepper, okay. And pepper, apparently, is also a game. I've never... Okay. They're all, so they're all games? Yeah, they're all games. Pepper, squash, and chess. I'm going to have to Google it to find out. How do you play so, pepper? So, okay. I never would have figured it out because I was picturing pepper. Yeah, like, like a pepper? No, no, like pepper. I was p picturing like the like seasoning salt and pepper. Yes, yeah, so I was picturing pepper, and I was picturing a gourd, and I'm pic picturing chess. I'm like, I don't know what on earth these things have in common. I can't, I cannot figure it out. Me neither. <laughs> I didn't know. This is today's these three things. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. comes your way courtesy of uh, 80s in the desert dot rocks. I, oh, <laughs> I always say that slow because I want to mess it up every time. It's not dot com. It's dot rocks. I mean, that's not normal, is it? 80s in the desert with one S. Otherwise, it's 80s in the dessert. 80s in the desert dot rocks. I would if go to use, either one. Yeah, me too. If you uh, utilize the promo code radio, you'll get a little uh, little uh, something extra there. Um, take a listen to this. This is our good news for today. Anonymous police officer leaves pregnant waitress a nice tip, and she was hysterical with joy. How do you like that? That's, would you like to be good. hysterical with joy? I think that would sure. be phenomenal. What kind of a tip? So uh, I'm going to scroll down here so I can tell you what it was. 100 bucks is what the tip was. Okay. So uh, it says, there's nothing like the joy of childbirth, but this police officer left a massive tip in honor of the, the lady, 23-year-old Courtney English, because she was just so darn happy. 
It says here, uh, despite being eight, eight months pregnant, she's been working her butt off in order to save up money f- because she's got this baby coming. She was given an unexpected financial windfall thanks to a police officer who stopped for lunch. The officer chose to remain anonymous. He ordered nothing but a salad and some water, so it was an $8 meal. But when it was time to pay, he left a $100 tip on top of that. How cool is that? That's very cool. And uh, this is her first child. He said, enjoy your first. You'll never forget it. She felt overwhelmed with gratitude, but he left before she even had a chance to thank him. The waitress says she usually makes uh, about $100 over the course of an entire shift. She said, at first I thought it was a mistake. I didn't think that could be right. But she said, I asked the hostess like four different times, is that right? And she said, yes, uh, it's absolutely right. He wanted to do that to, you know, because of you. So how cool is that? That's very, very, She said, very I started cool. crying. This just doesn't happen. It was really genuine. It was really nice. And you so. know what? Especially coming from an officer, because I know firsthand with officers in my family that they do not get paid what they deserve. Oh, yeah. Um, and for somebody on a limited income the way it is to give that much in a tip is huge. Here's one of the things that I've discovered. Um, and, and I've never, I have to have to first preface this. I've never really had a job where I get paid in tips, you know? Right. Um, I, I, I guess I, I could say that I had, cause I was a DJ for years and there were people that would come up and request a song and try to tip me. I would just say, you don't need to do that. I'm like, I don't want you. I don't want a tip. But, uh, there are a lot of people who do depend on that. Like that's an important part of their pay. And, and there's a scene from a movie. My son and I actually, we were talking about that, where they were kind of making fun of the tip, you know, in this movie, in, in Reservoir Dogs. And they make a good point in that movie. But here's the thing. Whether you agree or disagree, that's the way it is. So make sure you take care of people. And if you can do this kind of thing where you can, like, overdo yeah. it big time, man, that would just be great to, yeah. to be a blessing. Think about this. If you leave the house every day saying, how can I be a blessing to somebody today? It doesn't have to be financial. It could literally just be smiling at somebody and saying, "Hey, that you know, you you, you look really great today." Whatever, you know, somebody right. at work that maybe needs an encouraging word. If you can try to find a way to be a blessing every day, that's a wonderful thing. Absolutely. By the way, Heidi, you look great today. Oh, thank you, John. But you you always look great. She's my <laughs> wife. She always looks great to me. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.